Okay friends, it's me V and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm very excited to show you my first thrift trip of 2021. Uh, I did very well. I mostly got housewares this time, but oh my gosh, everything was so good. I'm so excited about everything I'm about to show you. I did get a few clothing items. They're also vintage, but they're gonna be at the end. Um, yeah, I went into the thrift store to get a chocolate fondue pot. You know, one of the little ones with the tea light on the bottom. It was my partner and my anniversary over the weekend. And so I just thought that would be a really nice romantic dessert for us. Um, I also thought it would be very easy. And I know one thing about thrift stores is that you can always count on there being a tea light fondue set there, literally always. Um, anyway. So I'm going to show you all these things. I'm very excited about them. They're all vintage. I truly feel like they came out of the same house, probably, but maybe not. <laughs> but they are definitely all of the same era. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first off, I will show you this tea light fondue set. Uh, this is the nicest one I've ever seen, actually. Uh, most of the time when I find them there, they always are brown and they have chocolat in a scripted font scrolled over the front. Nothing wrong with that, but I'm really a fan of just like how simple this is. I really like the purple. Yeah, it's just, I really like things that are a little bit more neutral like this, as neutral as purple can be. Uh, the fondue was delicious. <laughs> Little like side sidebar, side story. Once for Christmas, my family <laughs> wanted to make chocolate fondue and I thought I could handle it. I thought this is where I'm gonna shine at the family get together. I managed to waste all of the chocolate. My mom got white and dark chocolate to have for fondue and I just brutally burnt and made them both inedible. I, I don't even know. I don't even know how I messed up so badly, but this fondue went so much better. I can link the recipe down below, but it was it was very simple. Um, so yeah, I don't think you even really need a special occasion for chocolate fondue. Like just get some nice chocolate and some fruit and call it a Friday. That's what I would say. So here's a nice little retro I think it's like a kitchen canister that doesn't have a top. That's what I've kind of decided this probably is, but definitely something for the kitchen. I really like the pattern. I thought it was just really cute, all these little berries on it. Um, and I liked how just sort of, I don't know, I just liked it. Um, I think that I'm gonna plant a plant in it. <laughs> anyway. I think this is gonna be really good. I definitely just have to set aside a time to actually repot some plants, which we'll see when that happens. So the next three things that I got are definitely purely frivolous. I got some tchotchkes. <laughs> I just couldn't resist these. They're just so cute. Yeah, I don't really have a lot to say about these except for this one. I really like swans. I love them. I, I don't know why a swan would have a bunch of flowers on its back, but I'm into it. Also, really appreciate the heavy brow on this swan. This one watched some makeup tutorials, that is for sure. I also had similar feelings about these little frogs. They're just so cute, I don't know. Especially this little one. Look at that little face. Oh my god, he's so like, so strange looking. Like, I don't know, like vintage vintage from Asia somewhere, because it definitely has that sort of style, or at least that's kind of what I associated with. This one is from Niagara. Um, I don't think this one is vintage. This one I think I'm just gonna put into one of my little planters. I love to kind of stick little things like this um, in my plant pots. This one though, I think he's so cute and weird. I'm just gonna put him up on a shelf somewhere. Maybe in the kitchen, I don't know. I recently decided to allow myself to buy mugs again. 
So <laughs> from when I was single and living alone, at one point I think I had like 25 mugs. I had so many mugs and it was totally ridiculous. Like who needs that many mugs? So I got these two mugs and I love them both. Great purchases. I think this one was only a dollar and this one was two dollars. So this one is definitely like a favorite. This is a great mug. It's incredible. But this is actually like my favorite type of coffee cup. Um, you can see because this is what I'm drinking my coffee out of right now. <laughs> so I'm pretty, I definitely have a type. This one is just such a great 80s retro design. It reminds me of the aquatic center that we used to go to when I was a kid. Like definitely that Olympics 80s feel to it. Tried them both out. They both work great. 10 out of 10. Great coffee drinking experience. I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for, but it was so cute. I actually just couldn't leave it. So it is this little mushroom sugar bowl, I believe. I always find things that are this design, but I rarely see any that are this cute. Like normally they're sort of browns and oranges, which is nothing wrong with that. They're beautiful too. But this one, I just couldn't resist how like light pastels it is. Yeah, I don't know what to put in this exactly. And I don't know where, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to put it in the kitchen. I might put it somewhere else. Um, but I thought this could be really good for like hair ties or virtually anything. I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see where this ends up, but it was too cute to pass up. These I actually had to grab off of a display table. I mean, they were they were up for grabs, but look at these. These I was really excited about and I can't believe they were only $3, which is like unbelievable. I've never seen anything like this in such good condition before. Um, normally whenever I've seen little ceramic stuff like this, all of the petals are broken and this one does have a little bit of chipping on it. Um, it's pretty minor, like it's actually kind of hard to see and it sort of looks like, I don't know, it kind of looks like that's the way the roses should be. Bookends are something that I've definitely been looking for for quite a while on my uh, thrifting list and I'm really excited to find a pair that are just so pretty. Like look at the, look at them. I've been wanting one of these for a really long time. <laughs> it is a lobster jello mold. <laughs> I actually have been sort of half keeping an eye out for one of these. In 2020, I started watching Golden Girls, which I found was really good when my anxiety was really bad. Um, it was really nice to watch Golden Girls because it's so incredible. I'd never seen it before and it really reminded me of the Golden Girls kitchen. When I did my mini thrift haul for my partner, I held this up and I was like, look, I bought it because of the Golden Girls. He said, you know, it looks like a penis, right? And I said, yeah, that's why I bought it. <laughs> this is incredible. And I'll just probably hang it up in the kitchen somewhere like this because look at it, it's perfect. And this is my last houseware piece. It's this uh, bronze swan. I love swans. There's a lot of swans in this house. Again, could not resist it. Also noticing that this swan has a really thick brow. Is that like a design motif? Like birds don't have eyebrows. Why? What? <laughs> Look at this 80s perfection. Not sure how much I'm actually gonna wear it, but I couldn't resist the pattern. So good. Like I'm quite sure there's no tag that's like visible on this, but I'm pretty sure it's polyester. It feels incredibly flammable. Sort of design looks like the Target logo, which is like, is this vintage Target? No. I thought that it would probably be good just, you know, with something black underneath it, um, maybe sort of tied um, or just open. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I thought it was pretty fun, so I couldn't resist it. This. I probably should have resisted, but I couldn't. Oh my God, look at those, look at those shoulder pads. Oh yeah. This is everything the 80s should be. So this is definitely also very Golden Girls inspired. I specifically was thinking of Blanche. 
obviously. I thought this really could be a cute summer dress, but it's definitely a bit too big for me. I will say it is extremely fun to twirl in though. With all these layers, it's some good volume. I saved the best for last and it is this incredible skirt. Look at this thing. Yeah, this is so fun. I think this is the most wearable piece. I'm definitely going to wear this a bunch in the summer. It is very light. I, I can't tell if you can you can see, but it is incredibly sheer. I think I can read the tag through this. It's so sheer. I think this is going to look really good with literally any black top or any colorful top. I think it's going to look really cute with denim a little red scarf oh my gosh so many cute options i'm really so stoked about this this was definitely my favorite clothing piece that i got and yeah i definitely will be wearing this a ton in the summer when it is warm enough for a skirt like this so that was it thanks so much for watching i hope you really like some of those pieces i don't usually buy so many houseware things but i don't know when the thrifting is good you just gotta follow <laughs> where it leads I guess. I definitely did go in for that fondue pot so I think I was hanging around in the houseware section a lot more this time. I'll probably do another thrift haul at some point, probably more clothing because that's generally <laughs> that's generally what I end up thrifting for. Anyway, thanks for watching, thank you for being a friend, and we'll see you next time.